Disconnect the phone and try again. I had to come back and drop a banger for you guys since I've been gone for a month. And hopefully you guys, like I said, learn from this video. <laughs> What's the deal, YouTube? Back with another video. I don't know which video is gonna release first. Get in the car wash or this one is gonna be one or the other. So if you guys have seen that video, then good for you. If you haven't, go back and check that out. Or if it hasn't came yet, then wait for it on the next one. Anyways, if you guys like the concert, like anything about the scat or the building stuff, please leave a like on the channel, like on this video, and leave a comment down below what you guys wanna see next so I can bring you guys some more content. In this video, guys, something special, something a lot of people have been asking me for a very long time, and that is, uh, you know, basically how to swing your car. Beginning, like a beginner's tutorial on how pretty much to swing your scat pack, Hellcat, pretty much, or anything of that nature. You know, if you got a Camaro SS, a Mustang GT, or pretty much any muscle car. Like I said, if you guys like the video, like the channel, please leave a like on it and comment down below what you guys want to see next. All right guys, so I'm parked right now. I got my hazards on so the people can pass me. I found a pretty uh, empty area, so we should be good for a demonstration. All right, so step one, you just started your car. My car is in auto. Um, first off, if you have a scat, you have a button right here under the mute button, the drive mode button. How you? That's how you get to this menu, the sport mode and stuff. So yeah, so pretty much, Step one is to go here, drive mode, boom. You're gonna press that, this is gonna pop up, all right? So, once you're here, uh, sometimes I have done it in custom, just so I can support everything, and uh, you, you feel me? But, um, just for the reference of this video, I'm not gonna do custom, I'm just gonna press the sport one, okay? So the sport, we're gonna press sport, it's in sport. The reason why I do sport, is because that's how you get your valves and stuff. It pretty much is like open. It's like better for manual mode. You're gonna get your full power. You're not, you know, if you're in automatic drive and in auto mode, you're not getting, I mean, you may get the full power if you press all the way down. But if you have it in sport and in manual mode, you're gonna get the full power right when you press the pedal. So I, I just prefer sport or any other mode besides auto because auto or eco mode, you're not getting the full power, I don't think. so. I just say to be safe, just do sport for the simplicity of the video, all right? Then, once you're in sport mode or whatever, you're gonna press this button right here. That is your traction button. You need to be uh, sitting still or in park when you do this, by the way. And you're gonna hold this button down for about 10 to 15 seconds. You would put it in drive. Okay, I'll just put it in drive. Uh, some people could do it in manual. I, I could do it in manual, but I could do it in drive too. I guess I'll just show you drive for the simplicity of the video. So you want to be in first or second gear when you start. The higher your gear, the wider your turn, okay? So if you got a wide intersection, you probably want to be in second or third gear. If you have a small intersection, you want to be in first or second gear. The lower your gear, the smaller your turns are when you're doing it, all right? If you didn't get that, you put the car in sport. You hold the traction for 10 or 15 seconds. You wait for the thing to say it's off. Once your traction's off, you wanna be in first or second gear to start it. Now when you're actually starting it, we're gonna press the pedal. It's gonna be hard for me to show you, so I'm explaining everything now. You're gonna press the pedal all the way down. You wanna make sure you're already like in, inside the intersection though. But you gotta press the pedal all the way down. When you press the pedal all the way down with your traction off, you're gonna have too much power you're immediately gonna be able to go sideways because your tires are gonna be burning back there and you're, you know, you're all the way down, no traction. It's already gonna start spinning. So what you wanna do once you're spinning, you're gonna turn the wheel all the way. You wanna turn it full rotation as much as you can. That's gonna get you sideways and that's gonna get you spinning. Once you get sideways and spinning, it is very important. You know, if you see that you're giving it too much gas, you wanna let go of the gas for starters not to mention what you also have to be doing at the same time you're playing with the pedal they call it feathering like you kind of give it gas when you need it and you let go when you don't need it when you're letting go of the gas because you don't need it you also want to let go of the wheel and let it the wheel will correct itself because you're going to be spinning so when you let go of the wheel it's going to spin back the other way so you're going to let it spin back the other way 
and then you're gonna spin it back the way you're turning again. So you're pretty much just turning it all the way. You're gonna let it go, let it correct itself, and you're gonna spin it all the way again. All right, so here, put the cam. All right, do it. All right, and make sure there's no cars coming or they're not. All right. Be careful because they be coming fast. Yeah, so push the wheel all the way. There are no phones connected. Connect a phone and try again. <laughs> all right and that's a simple basic tutorial on how to swing your car that was a few spins around i think that was like twice or three times did you yeah, get the head motion? Yeah, <laughs> so if you guys can kind of see i'm kind of constantly turning the wheel and letting it go letting it correct itself and then i go back and give it another turn i'm also giving it gas as i need it and as i don't need it i'm letting go to let it just keep correcting itself it's pretty easy down 392 and kind of hear when I'm giving it gas and you'll pretty much see. I know at the end there, I kind of gave it too much gas so I kind of spun out. And like I said, I was in first gear anyway. So the circle was still too tight for that street. I needed to probably be in second. But this is a basic video to give you guys a basic understanding on how you are swinging your car or how to get your car to swing or get it sideways, whatever. With the knowledge from this video, I feel like if you guys watched and paid attention, you should be able to go out to an open area and try to swing your car for the first time. And I promise you it should be, it should make a little more sense to you once you actually get down and go try it than the video itself. So hopefully this video is helping you guys. Uh, like I said, when somebody explained it to me, they just told me off of their words and that's how, that's how I had to learn. So at least you guys physically seen an inside view of me doing it. And then you seen how it looks on the outside. Like I said, it was just a demonstration. It's, I wasn't trying at all. So I know some people, there's gonna be some people out there probably say I can't swing, you feel me? And you know, you may be right. But um, in my opinion, I feel like I can and I wasn't even trying to swing right there. And as you can clearly see, I could get sideways and I could definitely do a full donut and do all that. So if this video got helped you guys, please leave me a like. I know y'all been waiting for this one. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you guys I'm gonna upload every day, but I'll give you guys this on my word I upload at least once a week. All right, so stay tuned for the content I had to come back and drop a banger for you guys since I've been gone for a month And hopefully you guys like I said learn from this video. Hopefully you guys get to go home Get to getting your scats or your SS's or whatever and go out there and try to learn how to swing your car man So it's definitely the most fun part about driving this car. I can say hands down the burnouts and uh, donuts that you can do man I'm loving it so let me know down in the comments below if this video helps you I know I'm doing a lot of talking but like I said it was hard for me to show you guys and I don't have my GoPro so I couldn't show uh, inside footage while I was doing it I'm, I'm absolutely sorry but let me know if this video helps you guys in the comments below man and I'll catch you guys in the next one alright stay safe